Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, greetings. Um, I would like to introduce myself first before I begin my presentation. My name is Sintar Hayatul Mansyadia. I am an English Education Study Program student who is in the third semester from Surya Katana University. Today, I would like to talk about Amya Leotami and Fina Nuthiani's journal about a study of students speaking skills to work. There will be five parts of my presentation. The first is introduction, research question and aims, methodology, findings, and conclusion. So, without any further ado, I will embark on the first material, introduction. So, many students are not interested in learning speaking. What? This happens as students is learning speaking by using the same method every single day. They listen to the explanation and watch white words every single day, which is really boring to them. And this makes the students not creative, active, initiative, which is contrary with our objective learnings. Because of these reasons, the teachers nowadays must keep up with the time scale. They have to be more creative. They have to make the learning progress faster. They have to make the learning progress not boring in order to make the students foster their speaking skill. Knowing that this is the only way to make them learn, to foster their speaking skill, to enhance the students. Moreover, the students in the study are Gen Z, which is already related to technologies. It was conducted at SMPA Alpatomachi Anjur. And the focus of this study is on utilizing work as an instructional media to enhance students' speaking skill to work. Moving on to the research question. First, the authors want to find how is the implementation of learning speaking by using work as an instructional media. The second one, what are the strengths and weaknesses of learning speaking by using work as an instructional media? The third one, what are the students' responses to the learning speaking by using work as an instructional media? By learning speaking to work. So, the aims of this study is to assess the implementation of learning speaking to work among them. Okay, let's move on to the methodology. This research employed a quantitative design. The data was collected through classroom observation, interviews with four students, and a questionnaire involving all the students in SMK Apatomation. Okay, moving on to the main discussions of my presentation today. Findings and discussions. So, classroom observation showed that the students are enthusiastic during the learning progress. They flog their story, they share their story in their vlog, expressively and extremely, which is really good to foster their speaking skill. And then the interviews and questionnaire also showed that by using vlog is help them to foster their speaking skill and enhance them in learning. Alright, so there are also the disadvantage and advantage of using vlog in learning speaking. The disadvantage are two and the advantage are five. What are the advantage? First, they can speak anywhere, they can blog anywhere, they can see story anywhere, which is conditional. And this is really good because they can improve their speaking skill anywhere. Second one, they can see where are the weakness or strong or strengths in their speaking skill. We can see the replay of our speaking skill in the flock. And we can see and evaluate that our weakness and strongs. The third one is they can gain confidence and courage when practicing speaking. In practicing speaking, which is really good because fog is usually loved by many people, especially Gen Z. It is their interest nowadays. The fourth one, they can focus better when speaking. Practicing speaking. So, in order to make their speaking skill better, they have to do 
a lot of effort. And by speaking to vlog is one of the way to post and speak it. on the previous reasons, this is their interest, so they are not lazy to do so. Last one, both teacher and students can enhance the student can enhance the learning, particularly for the students. But for the previous reason, this is their interest of nowadays. So they are not too heavy to do a thing, especially vlogging, sharing their stories to social media, and then they can not only gain confidence improving their speaking skill, but they can speak English fluently. It's really good. And it showed that our method of using pop in learning speaking is success. Alright, the student response were positive. None of them respond negative. It is showed from classroom observation that they are enthusiastic and excited when using pop as an instructional medium to improve their speaking skills. They can share their memorable experience, daily life in their social media, and can makes them cool because they speak English in their social media and it, it really enhances them to learn. To conclude my presentation today, this study explored using blog as an instructional media to teach speaking skills. It is found that vlogs are a suitable instructional tool to enhance the students in learning. Students respond positively showing it engaging and finding it engaging, showing enthusiastic, which is really good to help them improve their speaking skills and speak confidently in front of everyone. Vlogs are really recommended for further improving speaking skills method. All right, that is all my presentation today. I am really sorry if I made any mistakes, and I am really thankful for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.